I'm a professor of theoretical physics, uh, specializing in particle physics. Particle physics tries to answer some of the fundamental questions, uh, such as how nature behaves at very small distances. In particular, it tries to answer the question what space, time, and matter are composed of. To give you an example, we know that atoms consist of electrons, neutrons, and protons. Neutrons and protons are in turn composite particles, so they consist of smaller objects called gluons and quarks. So this is one of our tasks to determine whether gluons and quarks are also composite objects or perhaps elementary. Many of the particles we deal with are very short-lived, so we do not encounter them in our everyday life. Nevertheless, they're just as important for understanding particle physics. Um, to give you one example, uh, let's look at the Higgs boson, which was discovered last year. So this particle is extremely unstable and can only be produced at particle accelerators. Nevertheless, it's really essential for cons consistency of our theory and it is important for understanding how particles interact with each other. My uh, recent research interests include connecting physics at the smallest scales and physics at the larger scales. So what I mean by that is the following. Um, astronomical and astrophysical observations have firmly established the existence of dark matter. On the other hand, it's not clear what kind of particles this dark matter would correspond to. None of the existing particles seem to fit the description. So one idea I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking about is how to produce dark matter in the lab, in particular at particle accelerators. So as you know, there, there is a famous project called the Large Hadron Collider, which is running in Geneva. And uh, what I'm thinking about is how to produce dark matter at the LHC, at this uh, Large Hadron Collider. If we can produce it in the lab, we can study in detail its properties and hopefully answer one of the great mysteries of particle physics.